I have a guinea hen here, which is basically like a fancy chicken. Probably my favorite part of it is the history. So the name in Italian is Farawana, and they get that from when the Romans invaded Egypt. They saw that the pharaohs were eating these birds, so hence the name Farawana. They're really good, a little bit more gamey than chicken, but they're really appro approachable, especially if you like something like pheasant. To break one down, pretty much just like a chicken, I like to free up the legs first, just to have it stand still. Then I'll trim the wings off. Then I'll go at the breasts. I like to make sure to get really close to the rib cage to save the tenderloin. And then to make sure that we keep the uh, little drumstick attached, which is, makes a nice presentation, I just make sure to keep that bone attached to the breast. And voila, if you want, you can score this guy here and then scrape off the meat and French the bone. That looks nice, but make sure that you keep that tenderloin attached because that's really good. Go at the other breast here. Then I'll go at the legs. I just pop the thigh bone out. It makes it easy to cut. Now these legs are going to be a little more tough than chicken, but braised. They'll be great in a stew like cocavan, or they make great confit and rillettes too. But that's what a guinea hen looks like, all chopped up. There you go.